Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a lot of money on Red Dead 2 Online. It's not really a glitch, it's just... It just shows like how fish die really quickly. Uh, let me look at his... Let me remove this deer real quick so I can show you all how much I just made from this. So if you look in the top right right now, I have $95.72. You don't even have to be a high level to do this either. It's just very easy to do. I'm not a high level. I actually don't. No, it's just all right. So you'll see how much money I just made from this. This is all the fish I got, and I have some uh, mature venison meat, and that's from the deer that I killed to get the fish. Let's see how much I can get from all this. There you go. As you can see, look how much money I just made. I think those were in like $30. And it took me uh, about 10 minutes to do that. So think, over an hour, that's a lot of money. So the way you do this, you're going to be going... Well, you're going to have to have your horse. The only thing you need is your horse and a deer. That's all you need. You come right here at this little spot right here. This rock, top rock. It's going to make you go all the way around here, but if you put your marker like right here, you can just go straight through, but be careful because there's a lot of mountains over here and there's a lot of like ditches and stuff, but you're going to need a deer, which you can find around where my marker is, like where I'm circling around, like right over here. The way I do it, I just get some extra deer. I just shoot all the deer I can see so I can just get their pelt and I take the worst deer and put it on my back. Do not skin the worst deer. Repeat, do not skin the worst deer. If you skin the worst deer, the glitch won't, or not really glitch, it won't work as well. Just keep it at that. So we're headed up to the spot right now. My friend actually showed me how to do this, so. I've made at least $200, but I spent it on a bunch of rifles so I could uh, play better. Alright, so this deer back here, there are deer here, right? they normally go in about three to four deer per herd or flock, whatever you want to call them. Like right here, look, I know this spot right here and there's a big drop off right here. Do not go there. I'll show you all where to go first. So right here, you'll be good, you just need to go down that little mountain, or that little um, valley. So you'll go right there. I'll show you all where it is. Oh my god. And then I'll show you all where to get deer. You come right down here and you take a left. When you take a left, go between these rocks. Oh my god, why is there something falling? And then you go right here. This is where it is. Right here. So I'm going to remove this deer. I don't know if it works best at night time, it works most of the time, I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually tried it at night, so it's the first time. So, you're going to get your horse to run away, but first you need to drop the deer like this. Make sure the head is pointing out. Take your deer and get him to flee. Make him go away. You'll call him back here in a second. As you can see, you can see the fish already starting to spawn up. And I think I need to move my deer out just a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to move him out just a little bit more. I don't know if it works best now, but we'll go ahead and try it. Stand up on this rock. It doesn't take that long to get some fish coming up here. So you should be good. The thing about this is, when the fish start coming, look, right there, he just dies. That's what happens. All the fish, when they come up here, they just die. Like, immediately. So I've got two fish already. Look at all the fish coming up here. Look. Sometimes you get some really big largemouth and smallmouth bass. Most of... Actually, I think everything is three-star here, especially the red fins are three-star. The rock bass are three-star. Uh, I've gotten a few three-star bluegill. I normally just like to pick them up when I just see it, when I get a lot. So we're just going to keep waiting out here. Probably for about another 
uh, I'd say five minutes or so. Actually, not even that. See, look. There's a big fish right there. Right above the deer's head. There's a bluegill. There's a bunch of red fins. We just need to keep waiting here. It looks like the daytime is the best so far. It's the daytime I'd probably be almost ready to leave by now. But it's still pretty good. Oh, yep, look at that. Another big one. That looks like a bass. Yeah, that's a bass. You just keep waiting here. You can skip through the video at this point, and I'll put in the description where uh, the point is around. Or someone can write it in the comments where the video in the video comments to see like when I'm done looking at this pot and you just go to how much I made from this just look at how many fish I'm getting right now it's actually an outrageous spot because you can make a ton of money you don't even have to be high leveled either see look two more big or one more big fish coming up see look they just fly over and die Look at that. Three more or two more coming up. Just flop over and die. I'm going to be posting more on my YouTube channel about Red Dead ways to get good money. Um, the best money I've found so far is just by hunting and fishing. I mean, that's kind of stupid, but that's how you're supposed to do it. But the best way so far is just hunting up here. Also, hunting for bird, that is, I found that to be really good. Hunting for birds, just like, very, very easy to do, especially if you have a varmint rifle, which I don't know, mine just keeps going away right now, but it's normally over here. And, uh, just use a small varmint rifle and you'll be good. Just look, that fish has just died. Look how many fish we have already. I said it's about... 10 to 15 fish just right there after how long has this been maybe two minutes so I'm gonna wait for about three to five more fish to come up and then I'll go to the next part and just go sell them to the butcher and see how much we can make this game is really cool too I don't really see any more fish coming up right now. Also, whenever you go to pick up these, look, most of them are three star, but whenever you go to pick up these, fish can still come up here and they, they just die. Look, right there, right there. See him? Oh no, I don't want to pick up my deer, goddammit. Throw that back. Oh yeah, by the way, do not skin your deer before or after. I, I know I told you this, but just listen don't skin the deer if you skin the deer it won't work as well I've found out the hard ways a bunch of times because my friend skins my deer all the time just to make me mad I just started this game recently so like I said you don't need to be a high level at all to be good at this it's not hard it's just a nice way to get a lot of money See, look, that fish is about to die right now. So they just keep coming up. It moved because I moved. That's fine, though. I don't need them. You got enough. Look how many fish you get from this. Look how many bluegill. And bass. Look at all these fish. I was sitting out here for maybe five minutes at most, and look how many fish we got. I wish they could do something like to make you like get fish quicker because this is really slow. I should be posting some more Red Dead videos though, just maybe messing around with friends, getting some money. I'm hoping to go for a cougar later today. I might post that. It just depends on how I'm feeling basically. I'm not feeling too well. You know, school's coming up. Don't worry, I will be posting a lot more videos on my channel. Uh, I've never tried this. Let's see how this works. Let's just beam this thing. 
Sorry, video clip came out. Um, so I just killed that fish now, and I'm, we're still picking up fish from when we just started. I wonder how much we're going to get for all of these. Smallmouth bass is one because I shot him. I just didn't want him to get away. It's still some money, though. Alright, now we get our deer and head back to the horse. Let's call our horse back over. Actually, we have to get up here. Uh, you don't necessarily need to make your horse flee. Sometimes I just park, or most times I just park him like right here and let him just sit there. But we need our horse back. But yeah, keep your deer because you can save him and keep doing this glitch. Oh, look, it's sunny now. Of course, right when I'm done. Alright, so. That's the bad part about making your horse flee. Which is... Now I have to run all the way back up here with my freaking deer on my back. Alright, I can call him now. Why could... Oh my god, that horse is retarded. Alright, there we go. So now we got our horse back. We got Ricky Bobby. Let's stow our deer back on the back of our horse. Let's make a waypoint back to Blackwater. I'm not really good at this game yet, so I'm just making this to help you all out, of course. We gotta get back there because I think someone's coming out here. There's a bunch of dickheads in this game, too. I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about those deer right now. Those doe. Look how close Blackwater is to this spot. That's the greatest part about this spot. It's so close to Blackwater, so you can just keep doing this glitch for like five minutes. And you'll get so much money. Didn't mean to cut the cemetery, it's here messed up. Alright, let's go back to the butcher. Let's see how much we can get for this. So right now I have $127.07. Let's see what we can do. Alright, let's sell it. $127. Look at all that. <laughs> Remember, don't sell your deer. Like that, $148. I got $21.00. And about 80 cents from that. While I'm here. Alright. So I'll see you on the next video.